As Stuart Lancaster's squad continue their fortnight's training in Denver, the head coach has revealed that rugby league convert Sam Burgess is being considered as one of their physical options in the centre rather than back row. As a former centre and fly half for England, Ollie Barkley's been speaking about the current side and giving his views on who he thinks should play in his former positions. His old bath roots showing through in his support of George Ford. Yeah, I've, I really like George as a player. I think he's quite unique. There's not been one stop someone around him for quite a while in his, his age and how composed he is. And he tends, he's probably got the all-round, all-court game. We've had tens in the past that have probably been good at one thing and not great at the other, and um, other than perhaps Johnny. So I think he manages the game really well. He attacks the line really, really well. He's not afraid to play a boring game, which sometimes you have to, particularly at test match level for the first 20 minutes of each half. And he's very focused, you know, like the team works very well around him, everyone has belief in him, which is a huge part of playing in those sorts of nine, ten positions where you're asked to control and make decisions. So I think they've got the right guy for the job there. I think they picked the right guys around him to support him in terms of the centres and also the sub tens. So whether you go with Cipriani, um, who you can bring on for the last 20 minutes to change him up a little bit. I think what we don't want there is to have someone that's similar to George. I think when you bring someone else on at 10, then you need them to um, add a different dynamic to the way the team plays. And I hope they put the right players in there. But I think they're, they're, in, a, they're in a really good place. Just I think the World Cup warm, warm games will be a, a pretty big indicator as to where they're at. And with George at 10, I know they've tentatively tried Owen Farrell uh, at, uh, at centre previously. You've played at Flyhalf and centre. What are the main attributes required for each position? Uh, it largely depends on on how you want to play your game I think I think if you want to play a, a wider game and you want to play a lot of second receiver and you like to play screen balls at the back of forwards and stuff then you need that second receiver there to control and influence that a lot of centres aren't really the greatest organisers but you put a 10 to, to 12 and he's very familiar with organising players around him so it can take pressure off the 10 depends the way Stuart Lancaster wants to play you know do you play someone like Burrell and Barrett or Kyle and Eastman and Burrell or you know you want to get some gain on in there it depends how you want to play and to be honest with you I don't, I'm not too sure we'll see from the, we'll have a good again the want games will show be very very clear how they want to play I don't I think they'll probably they'll probably go with whoever's playing best at the time and then work the, the playing style around that I think um, but I think Burrell's done an awful lot getting over the gain line Barrett's solid in D but I, I'm a big Carl Eastman fan I'm not bias there because he's a bath boy but uh, I think he offers a huge amount. Stuart Lancaster has obviously tried to get more of an attacking flow into this England team. The nature of tournament rugby and knockout rugby can see it get a lot tighter and, and you don't often see teams being that expressive. Do you think England have the tools at their disposal to be able to put that game on the park? Yeah I do yeah I think I think that probably with most of their players that's probably a natural inclination I think the way they play. I think the the problem not the problem as such, but I think the challenge for them will be reining them in and playing that patient style of game, which teams like the All Blacks do when they play their big games against South Australia. They're patient for an hour, you know. And when they when they have the opportunities, they strike. But I think with George there, he controls the game very, very well. There's a pack there that can drive the ball, that can play nice and close. Um, I think the side has a really nice balance for me at the moment. It's just do they have the right temperament at the right time to play the right style of game? I've no doubt they've got they've got the right coaches there to implement the right things and and put the right structures in place. You know, a lot of it will come down to those there's 10, 15 minute periods in big matches, isn't there? Where games are swung either way and um, who knows? It's who knows. It's very hard to tell in World Cup rugby. You know, you've seen you've seen form go out the window and you've seen some sides. Who would have thought France would have got to the final in 2011, you know?